What's going on guys? Coming to Justice here and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Traffic Policer and Player Location Display. Let's do it. What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today we're back with another LSPFR tutorial. God bless you guys. God bless America. God bless our troops that are fighting for our freedom. God bless our veterans. And God bless Israel. Alright guys, so yesterday we did the first part of the tutorials where we did a fresh and clean install of LSPFR. Today we're going to start installing the plugins part of it, okay? So today we're doing a uh, traffic policer and player location display. All right. So let's get on with this, guys. Go ahead and click that link down there that says traffic policer. It's going to bring you to this page right here, guys. Traffic policer, brother, lies of traffic offenses, speed detection, and more. All right. So just scroll down. Click that green button that says download this file right there. And then, of course, click agree and download. All right. Now, if you guys get confused about this stuff right here, just always go back up here and look at your numbers. 61600. See right here, 61600. This is the one you want right here. Main file, traffic policer. So download that one. Hope you guys are having a great week so far and you're happy where you want to be in life. You're staying consistent prayer with God or some kind of meditation. It's always very important, guys, to take that meditation time and breathe a little bit. Get the weight of the world off your shoulders for a little while, you know. It's always good. What do you want to do with Traffic Police, sir? All right, so, guys, uh, you can save it to your downloads folder, or as I recommend you do, go ahead and click Save As. Like this. And put it to your desktop, but make sure that you click the desktop that's right under the part that says this PC, which is right here. See where it says this PC? You want to click the part that says desktop, all right? And then right there, you'll see it, and then just click save, and it'll put it right on top of your desktop, right right into your desktop, okay? Now on to the next part, click the next one that says player location display or PLD, all right? And we're going to get the one off of... Um, off of gta5miles.com because for some reason I couldn't get the one on LSPFR to pull up. But nothing to worry about, guys. It's the same exact mod, same exact thing by the same exact person, Lieutenant Kane. All right, he's the guy that made this mod. All right, so let's go down and let's see the version is 4.00. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Click this green download button right here, guys. Thank y'all for tuning in my video today. I really appreciate it, guys. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And be sure to put a like on my video and share it for me if you would. I would greatly appreciate that. What do you want to do with player location display? Again, guys, you can put it in your downloads folder or you can click save as and put it to your desktop just like I showed you, okay? So now that that is done, we are done with all that. Let's close out of this. It's time to get down to business, guys, all right? Time to get down to business. So, let me switch these around. Now, you're going to need your Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory. So, go ahead and pull up your GTA 5 main directory. Remember how I showed you guys how to get to it? If you don't remember, you go to File Explorer and right-click. And you should have a shortcut up in here if you guys follow me from yesterday or if you follow me in my previous tutorials. Click that thing that says Grand Theft Auto 5 right there. Click that. Brings you right to your directory, guys. So, see if you look right here. We've only got LSPFR installed so far, okay? So we are in completely, complete vanilla style right now. So here's what you want to do next, guys. The next thing you want to do is go ahead and double-click uh, Traffic Policer. All right. Pull that up. And then double-click right here, which says Traffic Policer. Double-click Grand, Grand Theft Auto 5. And then, guys, you are going to need every one of these files right here. Just highlight them just like this. Scroll down just a little bit where you're right above the GTA5.exe. Grab all these files, pull them in, drag them, and 3, 2, 1, drop. All right, guys? So it is in the directory now, okay? And we will get into the INI file in a minute. Make sure you go back into your directory and click that refresh button just like that. Puts everything into place. Close out of your WinRAR. Get rid of that shortcut. 
Next up, player location display. Go ahead and double click that, guys. It's going to bring this up right here. The next thing you're going to do, guys, is double click installation files. Double click Grand Theft Auto 5. And then all you literally need, guys, right here is these two files. That's pretty much it, okay? Grab them, drag them in your directory, and 3, 2, 1, drop. Just like that, okay? You have player location display. For those of you that do not know what the player location display is, it shows uh, your location right beside your mini-map, right beside your map. shows what street you're on and what street you're crossing and which way you're headed, northwest, east, or, east or south, okay? Now, that's what player location display is, and it works out really good, especially if you're doing a lot of role-playing and stuff. So go ahead and close out of your WinRAR, get rid of that shortcut. Okay. okay, guys, so here we are in our main directory. We're going to go in and manipulate the INI file. So double-click plugins right there. Double-click LSPDFR. And then you have two traffic policer uh, files here, a DLL, and then this is your config file or INI. Go ahead and double-click that. Let's go ahead and enlarge this. Now, mine is already pre-manipulated pre and pre-modified. So yours, yours is going to be a lot different than mine, okay? So, okay, guys, first part we're going to get to is right here where it says division, unit type, and beat. Now, this is what you're going to go by on LSPFR, okay? So, I go by 1, Adam, 7, okay? Now, your division number can be between 1 and 10, and then your names can be like Adam, Boyd, Charles, um, David, Edward, Ida, Henry, John, Lincoln, etc., etc. Okay, it goes all the way to the alphabet. All right, guys, and then your numbers on your beat can be one through twenty-four. So, for example, if you wanted your name, your unit type to be Lincoln, and you wanted your division number to be two, and your beat to be um, twenty-two, then you'd be you would put two Lincoln twenty-two. So. But just make sure when you write out your name, whatever you choose, that is in all caps. Okay, it has to be in all caps to work, all right? So let's scroll on down. Now we're finished with that. Let's scroll on down through here, guys. And, okay, so this area that I'm in right here, guys and girls, see all this right here? Now, your numbers are going to be set a little different than mine. But what this basically is, guys, is like the lower the number, the better the chance, pretty much. So, I think some of yours is set to like 140 and then 260 and 290 or something like that. But if you guys want to set all yours the way that I've got mine set, it actually levels out the crime rate uh, pretty well. Like, I don't get too much of this call or too much of that call. It actually kind of just levels everything out. And I get a call of this and a call of that. So, I get like a mixture of it. You know what I'm saying? So, here's what you're going to do, guys. If this number right here, which I believe on yours says 140 or something like that, you can just highlight that, erase that one, just backspace that one, and leave it at 40. And then just change these to whatever you want, guys. It's pretty much up to you. But if you want to set them the way that I've got them set, uh, you can pause the video here and look at mine and set them the way that mine are. It actually really does level out your, uh, your calls. It levels out your calls, you know. It gives you a variety. Okay, so if you want to pause it and check that out real quick, you're more than welcome to. I'm going to move on down. Okay, we don't need to worry about none of this right here. Let's go on down. I'm just trying to get to the important stuff, guys. Just the important stuff. Okay, so this this is your... Um, let's see, the color of the speeder is red. Enter the value and the speed unit. Unit above, it is adjustable in game. So this is your radar for your traffic policer, Okay. And the way you pull up your radar is F5. Now, if you already have something set on F5, like another mod or something, I would suggest that you change this. But if not, just leave it alone the way it is. Um, so what you would do is hit F5. And then right here is your default speed of what your radar is going to be set at as soon as you turn it on. So I like to change mine to about usually around 35. Actually, you know what? We'll do 30 this time. So when you pull up your radar, it'll be set right at 30, or if you leave it at 70, it'll be set at 70. Whatever you set that number to, that's what your radar will be set to as soon as you pull it up, okay? But it is adjustable in-game. You can adjust it down. You can make it go up or whatever you want to, okay? So we're going to scroll on down here, 
Now, this part right here, guys, is your entire radar system, okay? This is what operates everything in your radar system. So, um, what these numbers are right here, guys, is when you pull somebody over, and I'll show you how it works in game. When you pull somebody over, and uh, you do like a custom, a custom uh, parking, I can't remember what they call it. It's a customized parking type thing. Anyway, you hit Control W, and a red ring pops up in front of their car these numbers right here is to move that ring back and forth to wherever you want it to make them park in a certain area okay that's what these number pads are for now right here max speed key up max speed down key uh this right here will adjust your speed to go up this right here will make your speed go down now if you're downloading this for the first time or whatever this should say page up and this one should say page down. This one right here. All right. Now, for a lot of you that are having trouble with the page up and page down in your game, when you're hitting that page up and page down, you have a red card that spawns behind you. There's a way to fix that in your simple trainer. And if I'm not mistaken, I think it's where your key binds are. But don't hold me to that because I'm going to ask somebody about that in my Discord. And I will find out exactly how to fix that and get back with you guys on that. Okay. But for now, guys. I've changed mine to I to take the speed up and to take the speed down. I've changed it to O. So if you want to do the same, then I would probably suggest you go ahead and do that. Because if you leave this at page up and page down, you're going to spawn red cars behind you every time you change the speed, okay? And it gets really annoying. So if you guys want to go ahead and change it to what I got it changed to, that's perfectly fine. You can or change it to whatever you want. So I'm going to move on down. All right. And right here, guys, is your breathalyzer test. Now, the modifier key for the breathalyzer test is left shift key, okay? And then right here, I can't remember what the default was on that. But I'm going to tell you guys why I changed mine to Z. Well, because Z is right next to left shift key, okay? If you look over on your keyboard and you see your left shift key, the Z is right next to it, okay? So that's why I've changed mine to Z. You guys can change yours to whatever you want. If you want to change it to Z or something else, you can. Just make sure it's a capital letter. All right, so we're going to move on down here, guys. This just tells you the alcohol limit and all that, which is all legit because it's 0.08% is actually the legal law of, of how much you can have in your system, okay? So we're going to go through that part. All right, so all this right here, guys, that we're looking at now, all this right here, this is what I was telling you about, about your customized uh, parking radar, okay? So... To disable the modifier key, modifier key equals none. Parking, modifier, left control, parking, E ticket. So what this does right here, guys, left control, E, that will actually uh, give a ticket to an illegally parked vehicle. So if you see a, for example, if you see a vehicle parked on a, on, on, in a red zone, you can pull up behind the car, get out of your car, walk up a side of it, and then press left control, E, and you're, officer will put a ticket on that car for being illegally parked and you'll call dispatch she'll say the tag number and then she'll tell you to proceed with patrol okay that's what that's for now left control t what this does is when you when you pull a vehicle over and they come to a stop you pull in front of them and you hit left control t and that causes the vehicle to follow you to wherever you want to go okay now remember guys i'm going to show you all this in game Left control R right here, guys. This is where we are right here. This is called a mimic. So when you're behind the car and you pull them over and they come to a stop, you can hit left control R, and then you can kind of move your car. And as you're moving your car, the car will move with you. And you can kind of, when you're ready to stop and you got the car where you want it, you hit left control R again. It makes the car stop mimicking you, okay? Right here, guys, left control W. This is called custom pullover location. That's what it's called. So I was kind of close, but not really. Um, but anyway, so you hit left control W. It brings up the red ring in front of their car, and you move it with your number pad. Uh, you can move it up with 8. You can bring it back with 9. Move it to the right with 6. Move it to the left with 4. You can re If it gets too far to where like the red ring is going into the ground and you can't see it, you can hit the number 9 to bring it back up. If it's too high, you can hit the number 3 to bring it back down. To reset it, you hit number 5, okay? And then once you've got it set, you hit enter, and they'll park. They'll go over there and park, okay? I'll show you, It's easier to show you this, guys, than tell, you to, tell it to you, okay? So, all right, guys, right here, this is where we are right here at Drugalizer. 
left control Z again guys yours is something different right here on this letter right here okay I've got mine at Z again again because the Z is right next to the left control key okay so you would hit left control Z for a breathalyzer left shift Z for a breathalyzer okay all right guys so if you want to change that you can and you want to change it to the way I've got it you can do that as well okay road management menu key now guys this right here F6 is for your road management key menu okay this is like to lay down your orange cones your police do not cross signs and all that good stuff when you basically have a crime scene that's what this is for okay so if you want to change that to something else you're more than welcome to but if I were you I would just leave it at F6 if you if you can all right guys I'm moving on down key used in drum runners ANPR hit call out to mark locations on the map now what this is for guys D9 just simply means the number nine if you see a D and you see a number beside it in these I and I files, it just means the number. That's all it's talking about. All right. So what this does is if you're chasing somebody and you see them throw drugs out the window, you can reach up and push the 9 real quick on, your, quick on your keyboard, and it marks that location on your map. That way when the pursuit is over, you can go back and pick up the narcotics. Okay? That's what that's for. All right, guys. So moving on down. Uh, the key used in drunk runners hit call out to go to court, uh, which is D0, which is just the number zero. So once you chase the, the pursuer, okay, I mean, the, the, once you're in a high speed pursuit and you're chasing the suspect and everything's over with, a little thing will come up on the bottom of your map saying, did you find any drugs? Yes or no. You either click Y or N for yes or no. And then you hold down the zero and it will take you to a court system and show you uh, what happened to that person, what kind of time they got, and what they were charged with, okay? So that's what that's for, guys. I'm going to show you all this stuff, all right? And then right here, the key used to, the key used in broken down vehicle ambient event to attempt to repair the vehicle is T, okay? Now, I just leave that the way it is, guys. Uh, T seems to be pretty legit for me to fix a vehicle. Your guy will just simply open the hood and look under and try to fix it the best he can, and then he either fixes it or he doesn't. So if you do, it's good. If you don't, then you have to call for a tow truck. All right? So that is um, that is the key T. Now down here where it says left control J, this is for places the last selected sign from the road management menu. So let's just say you place down an orange cone and then you close out the menu, okay? If you want to put down another cone without opening the menu, all you have to do is hit left control J, okay? But it has to be the last selected item on your menu, okay? Now, when you're done with your road management, you can click J right here, just J by itself, to pick up all the signs at once, okay? That clears them off the map. But that's pretty much it, guys. So if you did make any changes, which I'm assuming so that you did, go ahead back at the top here and click File, click Save, or Close Out and click Save when prompted to. Okay, guys? So that's pretty much it for that. Go back to your main directory. All right, and refresh that, and then close out your directory. And I'm going to showcase this traffic policer for you guys in the game. So I will see you guys inside the game. Okay, guys, so the first thing, if you look down there in the corner of your map, right there where it says uh, where your map is, as you can see, it says I'm on South A Milton Parkway and Carcer Way. So Carcer Way is the street I'm fixing to go across. Milton, A Milton Parkway is the road I'm currently on. Alright, so I'm going to go over this way. I'm fixing to show you guys how to work traffic police, so we're going to start with that. Okay, so let's go ahead and just, uh, let's see, I want to get somebody that's not jamming traffic. It's so, there's so much traffic out here the way it is. I'm trying to find somebody I can pull over. That'd be. Let's get this guy right here. All right, she's gonna pull up behind them guys like last time. Hit left shift. They're gonna turn up as a red blip on the map. I'm gonna light them up by hitting E on the keyboard. And I do not like when they brake check me. losing frames there for a second all right guys so traffic policer now the custom um, 
the custom parking location, guys. This is how you do it, okay? You're going to hit Control W, left Control W on your keyboard. And there's your red circle. Now you're going to hit 8 to move it up, 4 to move it left, 6 to go right, 2 to come back, 5 to reset it, okay? Now see how it's kind of light and it's down in the ground a little bit? So I'm going to push 9 to bring it up. See that? And then 3 will bring it back down. So we're going to make him park. We're actually going to make him park. Right about there. Gonna hit enter. Okay, he's gonna pull in. Alright, and I actually want him to park straight so we could do the other part of traffic police. So I'm gonna hit, we're actually gonna make him mimic us. So we're gonna hit left control R. Yeah, I know he was gonna do that. I'm trying to get him out of that spot right there. All right, so hit left control R again to make him stop mimicking you. Now, if you want to, you can pull in front of him. Like this. And I doubt he's gonna follow because I'm gonna try to get him out of that spot right there by hitting him. <laughs> I'm just gonna run into him really hard. All right, so. Let me actually get over here and see if he can get out of that tree area. And I'm going to back up. You're going to, when you have them, have them follow you, you're going to back up as close to him as you can. Just like this. You're going to hit left control T. Alright. And I'm going to get him out of this tight spot he's in here. And he should follow me right out. There he comes. Alright, so he's going to follow me. And make sure when you're making your turns, you make them kind of wide, so the, because if you make them sharp, then more than likely he's gonna, your suspect will end up running into something. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna actually have him follow us all the way around the block here, just to show you guys. Actually, we're gonna park right here. Okay, once you get the guy, the suspect where you want him, he should move on up here. What is he stuck again? Is the game acting weird again? Get out of that spot, man. Come on. Follow me up here. What's happening? Alright, so once you get him where you want, you hit left control T again. Now they're no longer following you. So at this point, you can pull behind them and proceed with your traffic stop. Just like that, guys, okay? So let me show you guys again the left control R, what it does. So I'm going to hit left control R and take him over to the left. And now he's mimicking me. So I'm gonna make him drive this way. Whichever direction you drive, that's perfect. I love how AI is act stupid. All right, so left control R again to stop him. But you guys get the gist of how that kind of works. Um, so let's do a little bit of role play. Again, guys, if you want the tag number and you want to use the police computer, you're gonna push M on the keyboard. Gonna go down the police radio, hit enter. Go down to request records check. Click enter and then just type in that tag right. number. So it's gonna be two four oh, well. <laughs> Queen Hello, son. George King eight zero six. Alright, and then all you gotta do is hit enter. Back out of that. And that's who owns the vehicle, Matt Hartley. Okay. Insurance is valid, registration is valid. Alright, so we're gonna go up and talk to him. And role play. How's it going, man? Officer Joseph with the uh, Los Santos Police Department. The reason I pulled you over, man, because you ran that red light back there. You got license, registration, proof of insurance Hello I can get there. from you? Kiflon. This is too much. much. Trust me, guys. We're going to fix that Kiflon because that gets on my nerves worse than anything. All right. So, again, guys, uh, hit your M on your keyboard. Go to police radio. Go down to request records check. Hit enter and type in his name. So it's going to be Matt. H A R T L E Y Matt Hartley. All right, and back out of that. Got to bring up everything about him. His license is suspended. Okay, so at this point he would be placed under arrest. However, we're not going to do that. I did that in yesterday's video, so I'm just going to dismiss him. Uh, all right, man. So I tell you what, your license is suspended, but I'm going to give you a warning. So this is how you actually do a written warning, vanilla style, guys. Alright, you're going to pull up your issue citation and just type in zero. Okay? 
That way it don't charge him anything. It's just an actual written warning. And you hit enter. All right. All right, man. So here's your written warning for your license being suspended. Um, it's not, you don't have to go to court or nothing like that. It's no ticket. It's not a fine. It's just time you get your license fixed, okay? It's a fix a ticket. All right? But you do not have to pay it. You do not have to go to court. Just a warning, all right? And make sure you get those license fixed. Go back in to hit E. Go down to dismiss. Hit enter. And it'll be on his way. When he gets unstuck from that flow, I guess. <laughs> all right, guys. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to work on the Department of Traffic Police. Sir. I'll show you guys what we're going to do here in just a second. Okay, guys. So the next part of Traffic Police I'm going to show you is the radar guy, Okay. So what you're gonna do, guys, you're gonna hit F5, if that's what you left it at, or if you changed it, hit the key that you changed it to. So F5, gonna bring it up. As you can see, it starts at 30 miles per hour because we changed it, okay? If we didn't, it would start at 70. So use the buttons that you chose to take your speed radar up. We're gonna move the speed up to um, 50. You're gonna use your number pads, just like you do when you do a custom pullover. All right, you're gonna use eight to push it forward. And then six to take it right, of course. There goes somebody speeding right there. All right, see how it shows the name of the vehicle, the tag number, and uh, how fast they're going there. See that? All right, so that's pretty much how the radar works, guys. That's pretty much it right there. Look at the next guy speeding. Right there, he's doing 58. We got one guy doing 51, though. Now you're going to hit backspace to get rid of that circle. Gonna get up behind your suspect. Alright. Hit your left shift key. And you're gonna light him up. They always brake check, man. Always. They always brake check. Alright, so he's actually decided to stop right here. So, um, let's see. I'm actually gonna have him follow me. It's too dangerous to, to have him mimic me or and there's no place to really do a customized, customized pullover. So you pull up behind, I mean in front of him, back up to him, hit left control T. Okay? Again, he's going to follow you. Just like this. Alright. We're going to pull over right into here. Okay, just like that. Hit left control T again. He'll stop following you. We're gonna back up, we're gonna ride a, ride a ticket to this girl. She's speeding. Alright. Let's go ahead and hop out of our vehicle. If you guys want, you can go ahead and type in the tag number on that on your vehicle you got pulled over front or whatever you're doing. How's it going man? I'll suggest with the uh, Sandy Shores Police Department. Uh, the reason that I'm pulling you over is because you got, I clocked you back here doing 58 and 50. It's going a little bit too fast. It's almost 10 miles over the speed limit. You got license, registration, Hello. proof of insurance Get on you? Flung. Appreciate it, man. Thank you for your cooperation. All right, so again, guys, hit the M on your keyboard. Go to police radio. I'm going to request records check. You're going to type in her name, however you spell that. Is it like that? Garcia. Michelle Garcia. I'm back out of that. Did I spell it right? Yeah, see if you spell it wrong, it won't it won't do it right. But I, I couldn't get her name in time. But anyway guys, that's that's the judge. So let's go ahead and give her a speed and take it. Hit E on your keyboard. Push to E. Uh, and we're gonna issue her a citation. So, man, I'm gonna give you a citation today for speeding. You're doing uh, eight miles over the speed limit. It's pretty fast. So you're gonna type in a price, guys. Just I'm gonna type in 150. All right, so make sure that you sign this. It's not an admission to give us to send that you're going to pay the ticket and show up to court. Your court date is going to be January 4th at 9.30 a.m. of 2020. Make sure you show up and see the judge, okay? All right, and there you go, man. I want you to slow it down out here and be a little safer, okay? Have a good day. And then she backs in my cop car and runs me over. At this point, I would chase her and arrest her for that. Okay? And now... We're going to go into the last part of traffic police. Okay, guys. So I've got this guy pulled over, and we're going to we are we are going to create a crime scene. There's only one way to do this. 
<clears throat> and which I don't like doing it this way, but <laughs> some way to do it, guys. All right. So we're gonna get out. Now this is where your road management comes in, okay? So this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna get out of your car. You're gonna hit F6. All right. And then just say you want to put some cones down around him. Oops, sorry. Cones are down here where it's large striped one or large striped two. So you're going to click enter on that. And then uh, this is actually pretty cool, guys, because you can uh, you can go down. You can change the direction of where the cone is. See? It changes behind you. And then you change it again. It's over here to your left. You change it again. And it's back here behind you again, okay? So we're actually going to, uh, it's easier if you have the cones behind you, uh, however you're doing this. So I'm actually going to put some cones over here. This is going to take a minute, guys. This always takes a minute. So you always kind of want to start from the back of the police car. That way everybody knows that you are, um, that you're here, of course. So we're going to fix this um, cone to where it's directly behind me. I think that's it right there. Yes. Okay, so you're going to go up to where it says... Uh, large uh, place large place large striped one and you're gonna start walking okay and you're just gonna hit enter as you walk okay so that should be good that's probably too much but there's your uh, cones for your crime scene now, when you do put your cones too close together, your guy will not walk through, so you'll have to jump over. And sometimes he'll actually uh, climb. Now, if you want to put up... Now, remember I told you guys about putting down the last sign? And you can hit Control j to put down the last chosen sign. So, this is how you do it. Just hit left Control j and See, he'll put down a cone right there. And then he'll put down another one right there with left Control j All right. So I'm just trying to make uh, make this look as real as possible. Left control J again with that cone, and then one more right here should probably be good. Turn that way a little bit. Left control J. Okay. So there you go, guys. There is your crime scene right here. Now we're gonna put a couple police signs up here. So again, hit your F6 key. Go up to where it says police do not cross. All right, and hit enter on that. Okay, and again, guys, you could change the direction of this to where it's actually directly out in front of you, just like that. Now, these signs are kind of difficult to do, so if you get some in a spot where it's not completely straight, kind of like that, go down where it says rotation in degrees and just turn that a little bit, and it should straighten it out for you pretty good like that. Go back up to place, uh, police, do not cross. Click enter, and then if you want more of these, just exit out. We're going to do that um, left control J for last uh, chosen sign. Hit left control J. There's another one. Okay. Just like that. And then just say if you want to put some back. Now see, watch him. See how he climbs. I just say if you want to put some back here. You walk here. Hit left control J. Do the same thing. You know, it's 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 pretty it's pretty cool actually, guys, having this feature in the game. Traffic police is one of the better features. Albo is actually a really good modder, and and I always hear people talk about how his mods don't work and don't do this. So it's more than likely probably something that you're doing wrong. It's it's not anything to do with Albo's mods because if Albo's mods works on my computer and everybody else's, then why is it not working on yours? You got to look at every little file, guys. I'm not trying to be like be mean about it because I'm not a mean person, but I'm just being honest with you because there was many times I installed these files, guys. And I would swear, okay, why is it not working for me? Why is this not working? Well, it was because I missed something. You know, like I said, guys, this mod takes <coughs> takes a lot of practice, guys. It takes a lot of practice, okay? So basically, that's it, guys. Um, you know, there is other options in there you can choose from. You hit that F6 again. Out there where it says, police do not cross, you can go over. There's a concrete barrier you can choose from. See, like right here, there's that concrete barrier. Um... If you go back, there's uh, road work stripes, uh, road work ahead, and then go back again, there's plane stripes. So you could actually, like if you was doing something like this, you could actually probably run up here ahead 
and place one of these signs down to warn traffic that something is going on. You can actually put one of these down. All right, so the way you would do that is see how it's not rotating right. So I'm going to go down to rotation in degrees, and I'm going to turn it a little bit until I get it straight. All right, I'm going to go up and click Place Plain Stripes. And there's your sign, guys. Here's your sign. All right, there it is right there. And then there's another one, too, that's really cool. Stop Vehicles. That's the one that I really like. It's really awesome. So if you want to run up a little bit further with this one, and actually make it really realistic. See how it says watch for stop vehicles? Okay. So we're going to place this. You want to place this close to the edge of the road somewhere. Probably about right there. Go to rotation degrees and turn a little bit where it's straight. Go back up to place stop vehicles. Click enter. There you go, guys. That is it. Okay. So now you got vehicles coming under there. Watch for stop vehicles. And uh, that's pretty much how it goes, guys. That's pretty much it right there. So there's your crime scene. And uh, like I said, when you want to pick up all your signs, guys, you're just going to make sure you're outside your car when you do this, okay? You're just going to hit the letter J, okay? See, I just picked up all my signs. My signs are gone now. So I'm trying to think, guys. I think that's pretty much it for traffic police, sir. Uh, you guys see PLD down there, player location display. So I think that is pretty much it. Now you can request an ambulance for the guy. It's not going to do much good, but he's probably Attention dead. Attention all units. We have medical aid requested in Sanchez in Mountain Range. So anyway, guys, that is that is pretty much it for traffic police as far as all that stuff goes. Oh, yes, illegally parked vehicles. we got to do that, okay? Let's go do that real quick. Okay, guys, so this is going to be for the illegally parked vehicles ticket, okay? So all you simply do is, uh, and this is perfect here because he's parked on the side of the road. He should be parked up there, you know, next to his house somewhere. We're gonna pull. We're gonna walk. You're gonna walk up the, right next to the vehicle as close as you can get. You're going to hit left control E. Okay. So I need to be close to the vehicle. That's weird. Okay, there we go. So left control E. Dispatch illegally parked vehicle uh, 42 David Zebra William O. 085, we 082. have an illegally Man, parked vehicle <laughs> in Sandy Shores. Target vehicle license plate, uh, 42 David Zebra William 082. Proceed with patrol. Okay, so that's it for the illegally parked vehicle, guys. We, we went over traffic police or how to do custom parking. Uh, I mean, custom pullover. We went over how to work the radar. And we went over illegally parked vehicles, so I think that's pretty much it, guys. I hate having a, police, a dirty police car, I just don't like it. Let me fix that real quick, guys. There we go. But that is pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate you all tuning in my video. I'm really trying to think if there's anything else on traffic police that I need to... Um, I don't think there's anything else at all. I think that's pretty much it. Yep, that is it. But if you guys noticed that I did miss something... Uh, and you're not sure about it, ask me in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer it for you, okay? But thank you guys so much for tuning in my video. I appreciate the love and support, guys, as always. Um, guys, so I was telling you yesterday about my friend, uh, Gamer Diana. Uh, she, her sister has uh, come down with some kind of, uh, I don't know what it is, some kind of disability or something, and it's, it's, man, it's, it's taken away the, uh, the mobility in her legs so she can not walk anymore at all. Her sister is in a wheelchair. Guys, I'm not putting no links down there below. Um, I will put my uh, I will put my Discord down there for you guys for LSP of our support. But as far as like my PayPal and stuff goes, I'm not putting down there right now. This whole series of LSP of our tools I'm doing is dedicated to Gamer Diana's sister, okay? Because she's in a really bad predicament right now, and she needs money for hospital bills and doctor's appointments and research and stuff. So I'm going to leave a link down there for her uh, GoFundMe. It'll be under the. It'll be under the. Uh, it'll be in the description, and it will say "Gamer Diana's Sisters Go Fund." So just click on that, guys. Go check it out. The whole story's in there about what happened to her. Um, but guys, my heart just went out with this girl. Uh, so make sure you guys throw a few dollars their way if you can. They would greatly appreciate it, and so would I. Um, but thank y'all so much for tuning my video today, guys. I really, really do appreciate it. I love you guys so much. I am up to. Um, 
2,300 subs. I think I, oh my goodness. I think I hit it yesterday uh, or the day before that. I can't remember when, guys. I'm really tired. I haven't had much sleep, so forgive me if my voice is kind of dragging. But um, I think I'm at 2,300 subs, I'm pretty sure. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for your love and support, guys. Um, be sure to join my Discord. Go check out that GoFundMe for Gamer Diana's sister and support them as well, guys, if you can. Uh, do not donate any money to my PayPal at all at this time, guys. If you have any, if you want to donate any money to me, just pass it on to her. I, d I would rather her have it than me because she needs it more than I do. Um, so, guys, with that being said, I love y'all so much. Um, thank you for your loyalty to this channel and to the Discord as well. Until next time, guys. Until next tutorial. Until next video. God bless. Take care. Stay in prayer. Love one another. And peace out.